Here we are back in the lovely Crusader Kings throughout uh, an unexpected, very, very long break. I had some stuff that came up IRL that took my 100% attention. I knew that was going to happen. Well, I didn't know it was going to happen. But when I saw the way the trips were going to fall, I said to myself, okay, I'm going to need to start preparing some Crusader Kings in advance. I loaded into the game only to find everybody was butt naked. Every single person in game. Because uh, there was a game update. There was a game update that gave you the ability, the incredible ability to buy more content. That's right. And uh, it seems to have broken the game. But then it has since been fixed. I'm sure I could have just rolled it back. And messed around with it for a while. I didn't want to risk anything. I didn't want to risk breaking the save game. Or anything like that. So here we are. Back as Lord Robinrick Goshawk of Rosby. Now, uh, I, I clearly said something last episode. I was running through the comments trying to figure out what the hell was going on and who this character is and what we were doing. Um, as far as I recall, we just won a tournament. More on that in a second because the saga of this game not working hasn't quite ended yet. Uh, a lot of people commented on me saying that we haven't really had many villainous characters. What I meant by that, uh, I, clearly I did a bad job of explaining and enunciating my point. What I meant by that was in their own minds, I'm sure that what they did were a means to an end. Merrick killed a whole bunch of people. Anseret killed a whole bunch of people. He had motivation for doing the dirty, sinful, lustful things that he did. He's a lustful, impatient man. That was just in character. He, uh, you know, obviously even uh, Merit the Impaler killing all those other people. He had a means to do so. It gave him power and improved the dynasty, etc., etc. I feel like the, in their own minds, they were rational actions. A current character, though, Lord Robinrick, I feel like is almost obsessed with this ideology, with this idea, with this motivation of being... A knight, the best knight possible. He is impatient and wants it now. He is uh, honest because, of course, that's a virtue of a knight, but he doesn't care who he upsets and what he what he does to get there. The callousness and, uh, and the paranoia also kind of tying into that as well. Maybe he already thinks everybody hates him, so he's just going to double down and go for it, right? But he clearly is gifted in, in combat and martial and all the arts of warfare, physical or leading troops. He's an exalted warlord. He just won a tournament at the age of 17. So I think that's how we're going to play him. You know, really just, just to a fault. I think someone in the comments described him as a black knight, and I think that's a good way to describe it. He, he, he likes uh, the idea of a knight, and is too short-sighted to see that he himself is a piece of shit and could never be that. So, uh, I loaded into the game, and it hadn't saved. It was back to the autosave midway through the tournament. Played through the tournament again. We won a second time. Um, the same event, so no big deal there. And uh, I instead, the big problem is we got different artifacts. The artifacts we got are two illustrious prize rings. We got uh, this one here that gives captains a little bit of extra taxes, both from Domain and from the Gloryhound vassals. A little bit of prestige. And then we also got this one here gives prestige prestige per dread which could be relevant powerful vassal opinion plus 10 which is quite good that's actually very good glory hound vassal levy contribution up by four percent so both kind of uh, anecdotally martial incidentally martial tangentially martial insert word here uh they, they do kind of relate to our character i suppose it would be remiss of me not to equip them i think so let's get rid of the healing water even though i do kind of like the stress gain negatives i feel like this guy is uh, He's, he's clearly not proud, but I feel like he would be quite a proud person. He doesn't have the trait. Maybe it's not his most domineering personality trait, but I do feel like he certainly would have that aspect to him. That's the wrong button there. That's the character finder. It's very slow. Don't press that button again. <clears throat> right, let's go ahead and take that. Right, uh, and let's go and equip the other ring. That's what I'm getting at. I feel like he'd be quite proud of, you know, his victory in the tournament. He wants to remember that. So let's put on both rings. Are we allowed to put on both rings? Might be a better question. Oh, we are. Didn't know if you weren't allowed two of the same artifact, but then I clearly see we've got two books equipped, so don't listen to me. What do we do with this guy? Well, if we are going with that idea that I floated of him being kind of obsessed with that, I, what I'm looking at him at is like a, like evil Rhaegar, right? Rhaegar read about knights and learned poetry and sword fighting and all that good stuff. This guy's kind of like that, but he hasn't got the patience for it, so he's just going to do whatever it takes and he doesn't care who he tramples to get there. I feel like he would have a grand wedding. I feel like a grand wedding is absolutely on the cards here. Just got to kind of find him a good wife. And maybe we could just sort by alliance power. Who are we allied to right now? Nobody. But I think we can already uh, form an alliance with uh, uh, the Vale, right? King of the Rock. King of the Rock? That's not right. Top of what? Lannister? Oh, right. Of course. Sorry. Frey. Yes. House Frey. Um, 
Oh, we can't form an alliance with House Aaron. Well, that is interesting. Your mother was an Aaron, right? So we've got to be a little bit careful with the potential inbreeding side effects. If it's like a cousin or a, like, a, like a distant cousin, what is the granddaughter of King Noel? Who's King Noel? Your great-grandfather? This is like a second, third cousin twice removed or something like that. It's so distant. Could marry him to House Tully. It doesn't give us an alliance with House Tully, though. Let's go grand wedding. What have we got here? Kingdom of the North. And that's kind of it. I guess House Aaron is, is on the cards then. This first child is ugly. Would our guy care? Well, maybe. Uh, I, I certainly think that their troops are the most appealing factor, more so than I don't think he really cares about the marriage itself, right? We can get alliance with House Tully if we want. But again, when these guys have got 51,000 troops, I think he'd respect that more. Um, you're going to marry the ugly child for troops. I, I feel like this is a horrible idea and could be quite problematic in the long term. You watch. We won't get any of the good intelligence traits or strength traits. That'll inherit on the firstborn child. I can see it before it's happened. I just feel like this guy would respect the, 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 the troops too much. So we're going to do it. It is the right strategic play. And that's what this guy is all about. Excellent. Well done. Gladly accept your betrothal. You'll be betrothed to my granddaughter, Theona. Look forward to the grand wedding. Could we have done that without a grand wedding? Doesn't really matter. Because I think it's within character that this guy would absolutely have that grand wedding no matter what. A sword strikes across my chest plate and Albert slams into my helmet. A soldier easily avoids my clumsy counter. The mock battle rages on around me, but I struggle to find my focus. I tend to let my guard down, but as soon as the fighting lulls, I know the second assault is about to start. Meet the assault head on. A 48% chance we show vigor and a 51% chance we get wounded or withdraw for a moment. That one gives us martial experience, and that's what we would do. Stumble and wound yourself, and that is... Oh, I thought that stressed him out then. No, he's just saying that we got the trait wounded. You'll be fine. You're, you're young, and you're an accomplished grappler, don't forget. <laughs> what does that give us? Hang on. What, how much health does that actually give us overall? Patron the father. Ooh, we might swap that out. Well trained. Yep. Grouchy ruler. Yes, he absolutely is. Melee victor executed the builders. Yeah, I remember that. Dislocated finger. Accomplished grappler. It just gives a, a huge health boost for five years. Oh, you'll be fine then. Yeah, don't worry about that at all. What was I about to do? I had something in my brain. Now I absolutely cannot remember what the hell I was going to do with it. It doesn't matter. What we need to do is save up a little bit of cash for for this grand wedding then. When it, oh, well, that's an interesting mustache you've got there, Freddie Mercury. Okay, you know what? Own it. It, it doesn't look too terrible, I guess. We've got a few years to save everything's marriage. We've got like six years, right? And how much are you thinking on average? I feel like this guy would, would throw everything at it. He would spend every last penny... 200 gold. How do we get money as a martial character? Fantastic question. Um, we don't, really. <sighs> Got army gold maintenance down. It's not like we go raiding or anything. I think we just let him cook, right? We just let him cook. You're on collect taxes. You're improving martial lifestyle experience. Yeah, I think that we just see it through. So we'll just wait and see what we got. Hello, uh, a falcon. Oh, now this is interesting. It's not quite a hawk, but birds of prey. And again, I feel like this guy would be uh, would have some interest in hunting here. Um, okay, I'll take it. Let's hope that the mod's working now, because bear in mind, last time it was just a falcon named Edwin. Oh, that's so lovely. Edwin. What about Edric? I feel like it's a much better name for a, uh, a falcon of this dynasty, right? Sorry, I'm going to call you Edric. Edric the falcon. Lovely. That's great. That's fine. It's, a, it's not quite a hawk, but it's still a hunting bird. Now, we've got to think of our game plan overall here, and I feel like there's quite an obvious one. Well, there's a couple of obvious ones. We can swallow up all of the king's land, consolidate it for our glorious house, Gosshawk. Conquer Haywood, conquer this, conquer Stokeworth, conquer Duskendale. What's our liege going to do? Tell us to stop? I doubt it, because we're house head. So... Or do we turn our attention to the Iron Throne? Take the title. The thing is, you've got to remember our guy is an ambitious. Honest, callous. Wouldn't really care that he's stepping on his, his dynasty moment to get there. Impatient. I think for the time being, let's 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 put that on the back burner. It's certainly a goal we could go for with this guy. But I do feel like we would want some warfare. Do we have anybody kind of neighboring that we dislike? Any lands that we could potentially grab? Castle Stokeworth would be quite good, wouldn't it? Hmm. Ooh, oh, there is the kingdom of Dragonstone. That would be good if the main branch of the dynasty gets that. Or what is currently, of course, at, we're, we're the main branch, I suppose, technically. We get that and we let you keep the empire for, for now. 
Bear in mind, it's a puppet empire. It's got absolutely no power. Interesting. I could really do something with that. Well, Paramountcy of Dragonstone. There's no way to assert that. Does it have... Well, it does have du jour land. Chloral, Dragonstone, Driftmark, Sharp Point. That's like four things. That'd be interesting. Okay. Doesn't necessarily seem... Well, necessary. I think we start fabricating claims. I think my guy wants to wet his whistle for a bit of war. Uh, so let's do it the old-fashioned way. Honestly, let's take their capital. Really come out swinging here. I think this is the best go. There you go. We've got to do some warfare somehow with this guy, and we certainly can't go to war anywhere else. Eventually, when we've got this alliance solidified, maybe we try and find a funky way to get the rock or the reach or the stormlands or anything like that. That would be totally fine. And a martial lifestyle perk. Hello. So... We got Promising Prospects, which gave us that extra marriage. Not that it really matters, of course, because we're going to do Grand Wedding either way. Lords in Respect, Spouse Opinion and Skills from Spouse or Vizier Counselor Tasks. Um, sure, Vizier Counselor Tasks? Doesn't really matter. I wonder if that affects our Castellan. Skills from Spouse or Vizier Counselor Tasks. Yeah, sure, that seems pretty good. Hopefully, she'll come out a good warrior. That'd be nice. She's not terrible. She's not terrible. She's already got a Marshal of Six, Zealous Rowdy, House Traditions for Honor. She might end up being a better entry character, but that's okay because we haven't really got much entry protecting us. And I imagine this guy might make some enemies given that he's uh, an awful piece of shit. It's been a good while since I saw my old heartthrob, Orana. Even after all these years, the thought of her as the subject of my childhood infatuation occupies my mind in the midnight hours. She is a woman now and I cannot help but feel myself reach for my quill. She's a... she's his cousin. Keeping those house traditions strong, huh? Um, <laughs> I will confess my love. You become lovers or set aside these childish thoughts. He is honest and he is callous, so he would not give a shit. And he's impatient. Honestly, all of these things. Ah. Paranoid might make it an enemy. Honestly, I think the other three traits override the one that would be against his. Do it. May become lovers. Seems as if our feelings are to remain one way. Orana seems entirely uninterested in me as a lover, and I am heartbroken. Perhaps she may be persuaded, or alas. No, he's impatient. He wouldn't sit there and send her flowers and roses and serenade her. He wouldn't care. I just don't think that's really, that's really him. What have we got then? Dark Harrow, Sunnyvale, and Black Sand. We looked at those before, as I recall. They're not very good. Ooh, my head of faith will send me some money, because I'm such a good knight. He's such a good knight. Yes, give me that gold. Thank you. Uh, I don't think he actually sent me some gold. We're going to wait a while for him to reply. My guy, you didn't actually send me any money. <laughs> okay, well, fair enough, I suppose these things happen. Do we have any Cassus Belli? Do we have anything at all we can do with war? We can go to war on our liege, of course, to get independence. What would it be? 46,000 versus 104,000. Bloody hell, we're quite a powerful vassal. We get the whole of the veil on our side. We could potentially form an alliance with the rock, which might get them out of war. My brother, Bertram, my brother-in-law, Bertram Strongarm. Well, you're okay, actually. I guess we'll go for that marriage. Um, or oh, sorry, that alliance. What happened to our alliance with the rock? Because we were allowed to start pursuing that. Did you? Oh, potential alliance negotiations. Here we go. Um, yes. Hello. Minus 128. Difference in rank. Difference in military strength because we've got too many alliances already. Could potentially win him over eventually, but I don't think it's necessary. I don't think it's necessary. We might just sweep the Iron Throne. Oh, God. He died. Died of a seizure. Okay, who has taken the veil then? Your sons. Oh, who's taken the veil? King Vardis? King Vardis Aaron. Does that mean we're not going to get our alliance anymore? I've done a little slew thing, and this guy is... This guy's obviously our cousin, which is worth mentioning. But it, he is... It is still primogeniture. He's the firstborn son of the firstborn son. It's just they all died well before the, 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 the king there. So what relation, sorry, was our wife or soon-to-be wife? So she is the cousin? She's the second cousin of... The King of the Mountains of the Vale. The thing is, if I break the betrothal, regardless of whether or not we get an alliance, he's going to be pissed, doesn't he? Yep, loses 50. Opinion of you starts a feud. You know, I don't think I really want to start that feud. I think that's a terrible idea, particularly given that our guy is half Aaron. I think that's not the right way to go about it. So I guess we're in now. I guess that's it. <gasps> grand tournament. Ooh, well, we've got nothing else to do while we wait for this bloody grand wedding and stuff to stuff to claim and whatever else where the hell is this on the stepstones oh my god okay the isle of serpents this is uh this is from a mod by the way that adds the steps i think it's AG agot plus adds the stepstones as uh, a playable area okay um 
Right, that's fine. We could do with maybe an experienced captain, though, so we don't die along the way. And that's it. That's all we have to do. Uh, easy. Easy fight. Get me in there. And in fact, now that I've just thought about it, I asked the question, how do we make money as a... As a, as a, as a knight, as a martial base prowess based character, we simply win all the artifacts and then we sell the ones we're not using, right? And of course, apparently we make some money along the way. Ah, oh, Robin meets Robin Rick. Excellent. An inferior Robin through and through. I've noticed how it avoids me more than usual. It was its opposite end of the table. Uh, you want to know how it is? I'll show you. Or we get Becco to scold him. Becco, scold him for us. We don't really care about people's opinion. And you know what? I think he's below us. This guy strikes me as quite an arrogant piece of shit. Hello, what do you want? Hello? Um, you want some healing water? My uncle, Lord Eric Rick, has a claim on our artifacts as a dynastic artifact. Art decline? He's refused to give you the artifacts. Of course I have. That's my artifact. We inherited that legitimately, you big bitch. So who are you then? Do you have just Mara Sandhaven? Mother Roin. Oh, that's fun. Lassini. Oh, hello. Sure, I can't wait for your tournament to start. It's archery, then a recital. Oh, we are... It's Jova. <laughs> we are never going to be able to win this. Okay, fair enough. Um, Your score increases moderately. Yes, it does. We're now guaranteed to qualify. Excellent. If nothing else, it's an excuse to try and go to the artisan quarters. Time to show the world my skill. It's still a prowess. I, I mean, look, he's still a very good knight. He's still clearly trained to use the bow. Let's give it a go, then. Twang. The arrow from the competitor loses a bow and it thunks into a target. A light smattering of applause follows. Lean on my bow, bored, awaiting my turn. Twang. Another arrow strikes home. Stevron wanders off to pick up his bow. I need something to do or else I'll lose my mind. Wander off and chat with the crowd. Uh, you chat away the board and lose some stress. That's the only outcome from that one. The mark is temporary. Anybody notice if I moved our mark back a few paces? Uh, that will not happen. Or I'll have to bear it. This guy, I feel like... Oh. Yeah, I wonder if he chat to the crowd. He's callous. It's okay. He's callous. He wouldn't care whether or not, I guess, in night. Ah, it's also kind of chivalrous, I suppose, to mingle with the small people. Hello. I stepped up to the line, pulling an arrow from the barrel, carefully drawing my bow, peering down the shaft at a distant target. At the very moment I commit, loosening my grip, a figure suddenly emerges from behind the butt. The shot flies true, straight towards them. A gasp rises from the spectators, and after what seems like an eternity, the form keels over, groaning feebly. A valet confirms the worst. The peasant is quite dead. No points for that, Arrow. Um, this will not let us... This won't ruin our fun. Family will be cared for. We don't... No, we're callous. We wouldn't care. No, carry on. We're not going to win the archery competition, I'm afraid. I am one with my bow. Well, maybe. Prowess and marshal, marshal check, after all. 13%. One last knock. You completed your triumph at 10. You won? The man had like 9%. I won. I actually won. Yeah, you and me both are shocked at that one, mate. Holy shit. What the hell? <laughs> I'm not complaining. Oh, my God. We get another grand prize. Okay. Uh, look, I'm going to be real with you. Is it even... Oh, I didn't realize the tempo. Of course, the tempo graphic would change. That makes sense. Yeah, I didn't bother with the rest of it. But, you know, you've got this... Somewhat out of place temple compared to all this traditional Western European stuff, but that's okay. Uh, Tawny Grounds. I mean, that's a criticism of, of Paradox, of course. I would never, ever criticize any mod makers ever, because uh, I've been on the receiving end of it. It's, it's, cruel. it's a cruel world out there. Tournament Grounds. My knights stand assembled for the day's training. Their attendants laden with kit. Lord Eric, um, stand before myself. Knights, what you do not know, ask to be humbly taught. I'm not going to read events that we've gone over through before, especially if this guy's going to a tournament every episode. 90% uh, of the episode is going to be taken up of me. Talking about stuff. Best of them all, Eric, now. To your saddles, draw your swords. Watch your opponent learn their weakness. We're honest. We would never do that. Let's just have Eric beat them. We're callous, so that will teach them a lesson. Excellent idea. Okay, I think we should probably go to the artisan quarters, honestly. Hello. Uh, I would prepare for my upcoming match. I spot Lady Soraya of the Tor hailing me, waving a... Wa uh, uh, I was about to say a wankerchief. Uh, waving a handkerchief, not hailing a wankerchief. Offering me her favor. Um, no, we have a match to focus on. He wouldn't care about their opinions. Although one of them, I believe, was the lady hosting the event. So that could have, that could have been something. Should we try and qualify? I suppose we'll give it a go. Um, blind drunk should be trivial to rile them up. 20% score, our score increases slightly. Now, let's just take the prestige and, and roll with it. We're not going to get into the recital, I'm afraid. We could place a bet. I just don't think that's very knightly behavior, is it? I wonder who will win. There you go. I'm going to roll with that, wait for this to end, and move on with our life. One last verse. Sadly, we did not win this event. 
This lovely Bedaisy lady has one, apparently. Congratulations. Oh, the best man won. Daisy's in his hair. That's on me. Uh, the best man won. Congratulations. That's very good. What a great occasion. We gained 18 trait experience in the bow. We gained no wit. We won a prize bow. Uh, great. I'm never going to use that. That's something for sale, isn't it? More to the point, we got a bunch of prestige and we get the Hastalud experience, which is always good. And now we go home. A derelict ship. Uh, the sea is calm and forgiving. What do you think? Nothing but death that way. What stresses you out? Because you're paranoid. All right, go home then. Go home. Carry on. He's a safe man, but he, he knows that uh, he's not really going to get much glory if he dies horribly. He's a very sensible man. <laughs> Howard exposed who's spying on you begging for mercy. Howard will be banished from the realm. Howard must rot in a cell. Death. Be merciful. Rot in, rot in the cell. Again, we're paranoid. We don't want enemy agents wandering around. And here we are. Home sweet home. Oh. Right. There's a man stuck in his armor. We've seen this one before. Of course, his squire has ran off. It's, I, I wish there were more events for the traveling. You see the same one so bloody frequently. Consider the armor gone for our price. No, we don't care. Leave him to his fate. We don't care. Apparently, he's so callous, he doesn't even care about a little bit of cash in his pocket. But that's all right. What do you want? Um, I would like for your kit, courtier, Garrett Groswell, to become the squire of Banfrey Longwaters. I do not give a shit. This guy's perfect for me. This is amazing. Now that I think about it, I don't care. It's my modus operandi. Uh, let's go ahead and sell some stuff. 38 to repair this hand mirror. Uh, it's not great. Um, right, sell. Sell, sell or destroy. Gain 79 gold and, and destroy it. That seems good. We can directly try and sell it to people, don't forget, as well. So I wonder if we could say, sell artifact. Would you like to buy my prize bow? 129 if we go out of the way to try and sell it to someone. Honestly, he's a callous man. I don't care. I don't care. He doesn't care. We're on the same wavelength at this point. Get that thing in the bin. Boom. Destroy. Um, what about the hand mirror? I'm not repairing that. Doesn't mean that in 12 years we might not have someone else. I, I, again, he doesn't care. So I think we just let it fall into uh, fall into disuse. Good. Okay. That's fine. How much do the rings sell for? 248. So we could cash out on that. But again, I think a, 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 a pseudo proud man. He's not actually proud. But I do feel like he would have a lot of pride in the rings that he won from his first ever tournament. Another martial lifestyle perk. We need to get into prowess, I think. What have we got here? Friendly casualties. Household guard number of captains. Peacemaker. Gallant. Prowess plus four, monthly prestige, attraction, opinion, accolade, glory gain. This is all very much on brand. Strategist is all about Marshall specifically, isn't it? Yeah, diplomacy and Marshall, so nothing there. Um, what about something like August could be quite good for him? I'm not sure about Patriarch. I feel like this is the type of guy we start going down. Shit, maybe even the leadership lifestyle? I'm not even sure what we do with these. Diplomacy, prestige, stewardship, dynasty traditions, and sovereign focus. Power, loyalty, and grandeur. We've got visionary. It's all about liege. It's a little bit of stress gain. Prestige. Kind of all around good ruler. Cultural fascination and then visionary, of course. Cosmopolitan. Focusing also on culture. So if you really want to boom your culture, but this is more about popular opinion, taxes, promote culture. That's interesting. That'd be better if you've got much uh, like a much larger empire, of course. Founder, title cre creation cost, negotiate trade agreement, family ties. These almost kind of seem pseudo stewardship to some extent. Uh, this though interests me. The, pr the prowess lifestyle I think is the most interesting. Overseer, again, I could also make an argument for that. Martial uh, stewardship, but it's more about control, isn't it? And he's a very parano paranoid man. So I could also see something to that effect working quite well. Either way, we'll finish off the chivalry tree for sure. Maybe then we go for Overseer, because you've got to bear in mind, these aren't going to get benefits from, or at least I would assume won't get benefits from our martial books, or our martial lifestyle, or being on the council. Um, many treaties have been written on honourable conduct in war. Well, of course. Of course we would. We would never stoop to fighting dirty. I'm not even going to read what benefits we would have got if we had fought dirty, because it's not going to cross his mind. Lord Eric is having a hunt. Now, this is something we haven't really touched before. And you know what? It's, it's close enough. It's, it's a quick journey. I think you would be interested in this. I think you'd be very interested in this. It's a, it's a show of prowess and skill with a weapon, right? So this is as good as any. Uh, he wants to hunt a stag. Let's get out there. Sorry, let's also swap. Oh, pause! <laughs> to slay beast. Absolutely. We're all about prestige. To the chase! 
We've read all this before again. Uh, you're getting the trait Hunter. Lovely. That's what I like to see. I feel like we've got to start making some progress here. We've got to blitz ahead. Uh, uh, just as my Uncle Lord Eric started to dismount, legs dangling from the saddle, my steer steward Lord Robin made sure to bump into the horse, sending him into the ground. You're acting like a child. You will be punished by one. We're going to tan him with our belt. There's no way for a lord to act. No, agreed. Or Eric has gone red as a beast. Six stress because you're callous. See, people are saying that you've interpreted the callous trait wrong to me. It's not necessarily cruelty, it's indifference, but that's... Is that the case? He seems to be kind of reveling in the fact that this man has just fallen from his horse. A terrible occasion and certainly not knightly behavior. There's no way for a lord to act. No, I think that's much more on brand. As we are, as we amble in the group, I hear Lord Robin behind me, hissing from atop his hunting steed. Look at that contemptuous fiend. He points at my vassal, Lord Joffrey, who seems to be having a hard time bearing the insults. To be fair, paradox is how many developers work on it. I'm sure they've all got different interpretations of what callous means, right? You're acting like child, you'd be punished by Oh, it's the same event again? Um, no, absolutely no way for a lord to act. Agreed. And hello. Claim on the lordship of Stoteworth. Yes. Thank you, my friend. Let's put you over to the side a second. Let's get him going elsewhere so we've already got a claim on oh possible side effects claim on the duchy oh sorry that's rosby oh uh. <laughs> i've played this game before once or twice right sorry where's my where's my hunt gone bring me back come on get that stag we're close let's go 46 percent chance go it's perilous danger we love it this is what he lives for Ooh. An exhausted, panicked animal has turned to bay, struggling to stand and snorting in panic. Lord Eric hefts his spear and cautiously moves towards the animal, chooses a moment carefully, and plunges his blade deep into its heart. A fine kill. Excellent. Well done. We've, we've done it. We've actually succeeded. I'm kind of surprised by that, given it was a 44% success chance. Stag Antler. We get that. Oh, how lovely. And uh, a little bit of hunter experience there in Venator. Even though Falcon is a bit more appropriate, that's totally fine. Thank you. Um, there's somebody willing to tell us our future. Not interested. Paranoid. We burn this man in his tent. No, tell me my future. Bad omens for five years. Ignore it. You're callous. Just ignore it. Move on. You don't, don't pay any attention to a nonsense idiot man. You can just ignore him. And home, sweet home. Oh, uh, thank you. A lovely poem. Oswin, this is truly heartfelt. Poem is lauded. Great. Thank you, Oswin. Now I guess. Do what we sit around and wait. What the hell am I going to do here? Yeah, sure. Let's just wait a little while. <gasps> I find another of Edric's favorite ne nesting spots empty and I feel my worry growing. I haven't seen him for days. I cross the courtyard and stumble across my rival Tristan, penning a letter by hand out in the open. He smirks he sees me and runs his hand over his quill. His brand new tawny quill. Edric is tawny. I won't give him the time of day. You lost a falcon. Tristan, what's the meaning of this? Prowess and diplomacy challenge. Yes. He admits to having killed Edric. Well, my friend. Imprison him. Can we imprison him? Is that like, as legal to kill the Lord's pet? We could just... Oh, he's my spy master and rival? Well, that seems like a dangerous combination. Fire this man. Be gone. You are a nobody. You are a nobody. You are the spy master of no one anywhere. Dismiss. Leave my court. Get out. Could have kept him around to assassinate him, but I mean, this guy's not assassinating anything. This guy couldn't assassinate him if uh, he was stood with a massive target on his back. It just would never happen. Totally incapable of it. Another hunt with Lord Rolf. Excellent. Sorry, before we leave, Rolf. No, uh, no pressure there, big man. I'll be, I'll be back. I promise. Uh, how much do we need for the wedding if we were to go all in full send? Shit. How much is it? Uh, what, I'm, what I'm asking is, do I have enough money to run another grand tournament, perhaps? Although, I guess we probably can't run a Grand Tournament yet, right? It's probably too recent. Grand Tournament. Oh, no, we absolutely can. Unavailable for 10 years. It hasn't been 10 years, you bloody liar. Hey? It wasn't... Was it not our Grand Tournament? No, I I, I did this, right? Maybe I'm going insane. <laughs> Hold on. Uh, wrestling, yeah, continue. Well, we can... We can... Can I be started for another six years? I thought it was my tolerance. Why would you let me do all of that? Why would you not just cancel the decision? I don't understand. How bizarre. Okay, um, well, look, we are absolutely blasting up the gallantry, if nothing else. Your gallant, gallant tree, not gallantry. Uh, here. Oh, I've missed the hunt now. Bollocks. Have I missed the hunt? You're invited. Yes, I'd like to, I'd like to go, please. I can't go. Won't let me. Ah, oh, Rolf, god damn it. I must have missed it by a day. Um, Renfred, Redwick, Uzi. 
I'm not sure. I'm not sure who you are or what you've done. Be gone. Be gone. Oh, well, never mind. These things happen. We could just have a hunt of our own instead. Bear in mind, that's what we were turning strong meat into. A proper hunting ground. So if there's anything else we can slap in strong meat to help that out, can we? No. At this point, it's probably worth just going to, like, a trade port or something like that. Water mills or something like that. What does it go up to at the maximum? That's ah, not massive. Oh, holding test is 24%. Hello there. Okay. Um. Honestly? Oh, shit. No, I didn't want to build it. Ah, oh, fuck. Sorry, that was a misclick. Cancel that. Cancel that. Sorry. My bad. Dude, that didn't cost me any money, right? Because I cancelled it, refunded it, whatever. Um, yeah, no, let's throw those water mills down then. 24% holding tax. Not massive, but it's pretty good. Let's have a hunt. It's a few more years before we've got to worry about this marriage anyway. Hunt of falconry. Ooh. I guess we'll start as we mean to go on. Strongly, that's high development. So actually, we're less... Where the fuck are we? What are you doing over there, you strange man? <laughs> I was talking about from the other one, I, I presume. Uh, Slay Beast, absolutely. Big attendance and big party size. Can't afford it because we're, we're in an army. Oh! Well, that explains a lot. Ammon Mertens, hello. Now, this is good. This is good because I feel like we're actually doing something with the character that's more valuable. She's 14. Okay, to be fair, I should be saving money for the grand wedding. I'll show you how I heft a sword. Is he any good? 35 versus 45. He's dead. He is dead. Strike parry repost. And oh, we're honest. We would never do that. We've got to we've got to always fight honorably. Maggot, you think you can stand against me? Got him. Victorious. Absolutely. Of course you're victorious. His weapon lost to the fall. I mean, there's no choice but to yield. Soldiers put him in chains at once or be done with him. Is he valuable? Put him in chains. We're at war with the Stormlands. What's going on here? The Iron Throne to Jewel War for the Lordship of Baywater Woods. Put him in chains. It's more valuable to take prisoners when we're going for such a big war like this. Interesting. Okay. Uh, my lady, please take, make this fool listen. It starts with no bearing on your ability to perform this operation. You're trying to go for a cataphract, cataract removal, not cataphract removal. It's very different. Um, you best wait until the conditions are more favorable. No, 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 of course. The maester may turn blind. If Dorsio fails the cataract removal. He is an okay ma He's an average maester. Give it a go. Sorry. Master. Not maester. Master. He's my spy master. I can't read. Okay, you need to understand that. I am the one who needs the cataract surgery. Well, I guess we'll um, be fighting in this war for a little while then. I have started a befriend scheme against King Tobit. Why? We're paranoid. We're impatient. But as long as we're honest about it. The truth is, he would make a fantastic ally. He's a brother-in-law. Make How is he our brother-in-law? My sister is the Queen of the Rock. Ah, yes. Sorry, it's been a long time since we played. It would be a good military alliance. And we're going to be honest to him. I'm not going to lie to him. I'm not going to butter him up. Okay, I, we're not going to do anything that might... Oh, hello. This guy wishes to fight in single combat. To prove his innocence. Well, we beat him once. We'll beat him again. Okay. No, 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 no. I fight as my own champion. Who's this? His chosen champion. Oh. She's got 23 prowess. We're about to kill this lady. Uh, this is the best you've got. You can't even hit me. Strike parry repost. Always go for the option that won't stress him out. Uh, it's best you've got. You can't even hit me. Load. Uh, no risk. Let's do that one. Take the risk. Uh, maggot, you think you can stand against me? She's out. Goodbye, Tynella. We've slain her. We've slain her in a duel, and he has been found guilty. Justice is, in fact, served. How can he do that? He's our prisoner. <laughs> He's our prisoner that we captured in war. Um, will you accept my freedom? No, motherfucker. We're at war. He shouldn't even be allowed to demand a trial by combat at war. But fair enough. The Lord of Light. Hello. One auspicious night, you are left alone in your study, mulling over reports and details when, that are usually left to the lower men. Suddenly, your door cracks open, and without any ceremony, a woman walks in. She wears all, all red. Her hair is fire, and she speaks in a deep, strange, melodic voice. She's beautiful, alluring, and for a moment, you wonder if you've not fallen asleep. But when you blink, she's still there. Sorry, she's giving me hiccups. It's a mighty power the Red God bestows on his priest. The Red Woman tells you of a prophecy of a Lord of Light and the name you recognize from lessons long ago. Azora High, the wielder of Lightbringer, born amidst salt and smoke like a ham and the savior of the known world. She whispers into your ear, telling you that time has finally come to you f to achieve your glories. 
to fulfill the augury is already seen in temples as far away as the shy. All you need to do is seize it. Oh my god. Are you telling him he's Azura High? Could be. Th I mean, just think about it. Mighty warrior. Absolutely nothing to do with fire. Was there anything to do with fire in his life? I don't think so. Well, listen, but nothing more. I must heed these signals. For the night is dark and full of terror. I must heed these signs and more besides. Well, you could do worse. Be gone by what you hold no swear over me or guards assassin. Oh. Is he going to fall into this plan? He's always had delusions of grandeur. He's not a particularly religious man, but he is supposed to be a good knight, and they are knights of the seven. Oh, yikes. This is hard. Somebody whispering in his ear. I mean, this guy's bored. He's going to tournaments. He's going to hunt. He's fighting battles just to feel, feel something, to feel his purpose. And now this lady's whispering things in his ear about how he could be a... It's time for you to finally achieve your glories. Oh... must heed these signs. I must heed these signs. I must. Heed these signs and more besides. He's not a particularly lustful man. Does he like her? No, he doesn't. He, he respects her bravery. God damn it. Embrace Azor Ahai. We've converted to Red God. Wowie. Create head of faith title. Can we actually do that? Oh, interesting. Um, we need a realm with one red god holy site. Really? Is there even a red god holy site around? Uh, no, there's not. Oh, there is. Summer Hall. Oh, no. Wait, County a Bearded God? How did that happen? <laughs> what is this over here? Mother Royna can't make sense because it's obviously in Sunspear and down through parts of Dawn. You've got the old gods up there in the north. What is this one? Cold gods? Oh, Craster's Keep. That's interesting. Um, right. What have we got there? Lady of the Waves, because then you get web skin. Yeah, I remember that one. Oh, that'd be a fun playthrough. I should do that at some point. Uh, uh, sorry, how is this converted to the bearded god? Well, is the bearded god not... I want to say Kohor? How strange. Okay. Um, yes. Is there a description somewhere? Dark water, right. So there's no holy site. And that is in Summer Hall, too. How bizarre. Still mind a bearded god. There you go. Um, there's no holy site for it. See, we can't do any... That's that's fine, though. That's not really a big deal. Just make our own faith. Oh, yeah, that'd be a good idea. Um, okay, well, sure. This lady has whispered him promises of him being Azor Ahai. And I know he's paranoid, sure. He's also impatient, and he hasn't really had much glory. What's he done? Won a tournament? And since then, he won that tournament uh, at, at 17. For the last five years, he's been stagnating, doing nothing of value. Hunting deer, fighting battles against small lords who beg for mercy. This isn't the life of Robin, Rick. You need something something powerful, something different, something unique. I think it's time to manifest destiny. And he's not particularly ambitious, but it's kind of hard to ignore when someone's telling you that you are a magic fire warrior. That's kind of cool. What are you doing? Where, where did you end up? Oh, there you are. You can see the icon. I'm interested to see how this will play out, if nothing else. It certainly gives a unique twist to this particular character. Maybe she just found him at a moment of weakness, you know? Maybe it was a uh, a, a bad evening for him. Maybe he, he, you know, not succeeded in a battle or lost more troops than he wanted to. There's a tournament there. We can't go to it because we are leading troops. Oh, I hate this war. And we're not going to resign as Master of Arms. Of course, we're going to do our duty as a good knight would. And we're going to help fight these battles. Should be over very soon. A couple of exchanges there that didn't exactly go in our favor but come on where, where are we leading troops anyway oh we are there there we go big battle with us commanding i hope can we see it we can't even see it despite the fact that we are in that battle how annoying how frustrating it does say click to view but i can't click to view it apparently that's okay it's good it's good that he's actually out there doing something with his life amon has escaped he really did not like being in prison huh what a guy I'm actually quite... The Raging Fire. No way. That's the man that we fought. That's crazy. There was fire. It was right there all along. In fact, it was the last thing to happen to him. That's insane. I'm hurrying uh, to a village in my realm to meet with some important regional leaders to discuss local matters. On the way, I passed by a wayside shrine. A quick prayer to a law. No, I'm sorry. We're impatient. We've got business to attend to. And now it's time for our grand wedding. We're in an army, so hopefully this bloody war ends soon. 
Come on, get us out of here. Peasant rabble targeting us. Probably because we've converted, but that's okay. Gives us something to crush. Something to flex. We're home. Very good. How much do you want for this wedding, then? Let's have a look here. Grand wedding. Confirm. Uh, obviously, we'll have it in Rosby. Why wouldn't we? Um, oh, it's not actually as expensive as I thought. We didn't need to sit on this much money. In fact, we did. 385 in total. This is good. And then our... What do you think? I, I think maybe diplomacy. Win over our cousin. Yeah, that could be a good idea. Well, you've got to be honest about it, though. He's not a diplomat, but we're doing this for the military line, so we should do it. Oh, he became an eager reveler. I love your crown hat. It doesn't suit you at all, but that's incredible. And off we go to our own marriage. Oh, Robin died at sea. Like I said, the inferior Robin. So these things happen. It doesn't really matter. We are also callous, so we don't care. Right, sorry. Come back to this marriage here a second. Waiting on the guests. And finally, they've arrived. His hideous wife. I love the game because it is a, she's, she's a, a, a totally normal person. Although from that angle, that's not the most flattering angle. But okay, that happens with a lot of people. I can't wait. Oh, everyone's so happy. Stop to admire the venue. Preparations for the rituals of the wedding ceremony are many. And in a lot between them, I hear someone snickering and scoffing coming from a group of Theona's relatives. How can we let this vile miscreant corrupt poor Theona? Is it because we've converted? Ah, uh, yes, yes, of course. Tilly f gains an opinion of you. Is that a challenge? Challenge Tilly Frey. I will prove you wrong. Diplomacy challenge. No, threaten her. Openly threaten her. You've got to be honest about these things. You're going to favor hook on Lady Griselta. Who the hell is Lady... Oh, Griselta Goshawk. What a great name. I think I named her, didn't I? I remember that the name Griselta is coming back to me. Uh, could it be you that I've been waiting for? Oh my god, they became soulmates. Oh, well, that's lovely. Weddings are just politics. I steal myself away for my future wife to join me. Just politics. How bad can it be? When they prepared me for the moment, I finally see the owner for the first time. No portrait or description could do justice to the gentle look on her face. No poet has ever sung such beauty as hers. Time hangs still when her eyes meet and everyone seems to disappear. Oh, this is actually so nice. My God. That's lovely. Oh, uh, it's Tilly again. Tilly is her mother. Well, that explains why she's being so horrific. Um, don't see you paying for anything, so shut up. Yeah, we're honest. Shut up. <laughs> Osgood gave us some armor. Oh, Osgood, you little legend. We haven't got any armor. Oh, it's shit. Oh, well. All right. Thank you, Osgood. Appreciate that. We'll put it We'll put it on now. You know, like when you get a, uh, like a shirt for Christmas, you're like, I'll put it on now, even if you absolutely hate it. We'll be a pair of socks. Uh, ooh, a claim. No one saw it coming when we were in the middle of, uh, middle of a wedding. Peacemaker. That's good. Peace acceptance plus 10 means we can take some gambles. Means we can fight the shorter, harder war. And speaking of shorter and harder, it's almost time. Oh, hello. My head throbs with the noise of clustering furniture. My mother, Lorena, takes my arm and steers me into the next room. Sound of preparations dies away. And we speak of small things. Times pass. People we've known are not a word about the wedding. We've run out of words. Things fall silent. Well, that's lovely. She's a nice lady. Enjoy a quiet moment together. Tell her how much it means to have her here. Um... Yeah, tell how much it means. Neither is really against his character, I suppose. I pity you, acquaintance. Lord Wallace tells me the married life is full of bickering, mistrust, and strife at the end of any peace. I mean, Bethany, he grumbles. The owner is perfect for me. She's perfect. She's a beautiful lady. How dare you, you horrible, horrible man. Um, don't worry about me. I'll have my hobbies, confident groom. Please, I know all about marriage. Uh, will it really be that bad, wedding jitters? No, absolutely not. Theona is perfect for me. I'm listening to this man. Uh, the ceremony went on a blur. I can better remember all the steps, rituals, and blessings I went through. And now it's time for our vows. Am I willing to spend the rest of our life for her? I do not. No, of course we do. Of course we do. He wants to. We've got to play the character here. I'm told my servants to keep an eye out for King Vardis' arrival because in the midst of weapon wedding preparations, I would have missed it otherwise. Instead, I'm proudly standing in the middle of the courtyard wearing my fanciest clothes surrounded by a guard of honor when Vardis makes his appearance. I'm going to show the gardens. Or, would you like to see the preparations? Or, I hope you'll enjoy the ceremony. Just kind of a generic skill gain. Uh, uh, sorry, opinion gain. Well, this one, our dear cousin King Vardis, has a 69% chance of success. You know I've got to do it. He was not impressed. Oh, shit. Well, enjoy. Here's the time for the feast. Have a, have a two-month-long wedding banquet. I've got his MF Doom back again. Near my seat, both Lord Wallace and Lord Dale share their opinion on the decorations. Well, Lord Wallace... Lord Wallace is being a bit of a bitch. I, I suppose he was actually just trying to offer us some good advice. Lord Dale, though, is Red God. Ah. Uh, 
Don't get involved. You're callous. Honestly, why would you care? <laughs> I know I should be spending time with my new wife, Theona, and her family, but I can't tear myself away from my friend Lorena, from his mother. Bit weird. I see Lady Theona glaring at me, but every time I excuse myself, Lorena has me laugh, howling with laughter again. Um, what a joy it is to have Lorena with me. Theona, come and join us. Well, that could be nice. Sneak out so we can talk properly. You must excuse my friend. Theona, come and join us. She had a good time with her. This is so wholesome. Amos, I'm glad you're enjoying it. Or I'd... No, again... Focus on the actual entertainment. You're callous. Why care about the opinions of small men? I've, after observing King Vardis from afar, I've come to the conclusion that I cannot just approach him and start talking about the weather. I spot Lord Patrick of Stokeworth. Oh, Lord Patrick of Stokeworth, not for long. Uh, drinking goblets of wine, much like that sheep on his shirt. Tell me, where did Vardis' interest lie? Here, obviously, a moment of celebration of good food, fine dining, and the most exquisite company. Uh, yes, absolutely. Use the insight. Or oh, we are paranoid. Should we just go for it? No, no, no. We're paranoid. He's offended by your mistrust. Well, I don't think we're going to be befriending him, but that's okay. Worth it. it was worth it. Again, we've got to be honest to the character. We've got to be honest to ourselves. We have the honest trait. Uh, yes, kick these people out. Let's have the room for ourselves. Barred bedding. There's character one piece of mind by locking the bedding party out on their wedding night. Or they sit and watch just to make sure, you know. Just to make sure that, that things are above board. No, kick him out. Come on now. The owner and I are led in our chambers by the recuous wedding party, the echoing shouts and the laughter heralding the bedding ceremony. The party deposits us on our garland and flower-strewn bed in fashion. Come here, I've been waiting for this all night. She's flattered. Your marriage is set to produce many offspring. Oh, uh, I'm suddenly sleepy. Or, oh, I need some more wine for this. Um, yeah, okay, go for the top one then, why not? Your wife is flattered. It should be, they're soulmates. Uh, the, the, the fire in the grate is starting to wither, and I stare at the flames in silence. The light is warm. The Lady Theona is searching for something in a wooden chest. Robin Rick, she says, offering me a small package wrapped in silk. Package for a package, of course. I've saved, saved this since our betrothal. I now offer it to you as a token of my love. No, madam, you are my great, greatest gift. We don't really need a romance scheme. We're paranoid. I also have something for you. I'm paranoid. Become the owner of a necklace. I'm paranoid. You're not going to track me, get me with a trick like that. Oh, he's paranoid, but he's not an idiot. There's a difference between being paranoid, suspicious of people who may be out to, to harm you. But he's already declared her a soulmate. It's plus 100 opinion. This is a situation where taking the stress, I think, is more reasonable. Give her something as well. I also have something for you. I don't actually have to give her anything, right? Oh, well, I mean, it might be metaphorical, I suppose. Thank you all for coming. We gained 45 gold to take the edge off. Pays for that claim. Magnificent wedding. Very good. Uh, lost a bunch of stress. Magnificent host. And 1,200 prestige. Bloody hell. And she is already three months pergonant, despite the fact it was yesterday. Good lord. What the hell was in that wine? I cannot wait to hold the babe in my arms. Excellent. Honestly, it's been a great day for him. It's been a great day for him. Your brother is the first in line. Elias Rick. Elias Rick, my brother, I remember you. Oh, let's sort by Alliance Power. See who we can get here. This is what he really cares about, right? Um, Alice Shearer. There you go. Problem solved. She'll do. Amazing work. There you go, brother. Enjoy your marriage. Good. Not really much of a marriage, admittedly, but it's better than nothing. Excellent. Well, what the hell are we going to do with all these goddamn artifacts then, huh? What do we get? Initials necklace? Oh, spouse opinion plus 15. That's nice. I mean, I'm not putting it on, but that's fucking lovely. Yeah, great. Let's say three. We haven't picked up anything else, right? Or was it trying to notify me that stuff's breaking out? That's all right. Great work today. Honestly, I'm happy with it. I, I think this is an interesting twist by having him all as a grand tournament. We're kicking off tomorrow with that. Interesting twist, I think, for the character to be, uh, you, you know, kind of really did peak early. A gifted child. Did incredible at university. One of the most skilled fighters and everybody telling him how good he was going to be. Me telling him how good he was going to be. And then having five years of nothing. Hunting deer, fighting tournaments. I think it's a cool twist that he has... Very much being enraptured and, and, and kind of uh, uh, taken in by the Red God. I think it's a fun twist. I think it was absolutely came at the perfect time to get him wrapped around a little finger. And finally, thank you all for joining me today. Welcome back to Crusader Kings. We'll start again. I, I keep saying that I'm going to start picking up the pace a little bit, but we're getting a lot of repeated events now. Tournament events all ended up being the same thing. Travel events, which has taken up a lot of our time because we're going to all the tournaments and hunts or whatever all very similar the grand wedding events are very similar there's not a huge amount of variation in events you know uh, to be honest 
Crusader Kings 2 had a lot of variation in events to the extent they became memes, debase the mint, immortality, etc, etc. But I do feel like with this game, it's much more blatant, much less varied. I'm not really sure. I feel like because every character follows the same path, every character, regardless of who they are, what the plan is, is probably going to be traveling, right? So I think as a result, you kind of fall into this trap of seeing the repeated events over and over and over. Regardless, let's wrap it up. Thank you there. Uh, thank you for joining me. Thank you to Nexus, Galaxy Wolf, Anthony Fackenthal, Exodus2169, Snozza, Science Wiper, Emily, Mighty Couscous, Malaki, Tragen, Kish, Sao Chung Tai, Floofy Prawn, A Box, Brassy, Swine, Choppy the Bear, Sydney, and Natake for their support. The executive producer is over on Patreon. Thank you for bearing with me. We are back in full swing. Four episodes a day for the foreseeable future, so hope you enjoy. Thank you as well to Cloud Slayer 07, Admus, Natasm, Tisnaf, Ronaldo, Lockett 217, Killer of Lawyers, Nikki in Wonderland, Ashen Soul, Mal, Militant Millennial, and Snake Farts. How disgusting. <laughs> See you all tomorrow.